Hi Libra, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe and healthy. So Libra, this is going to be your March, not March. Oh my gosh. May 2020 monthly love reading. The Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'm using Wheel of the Year for you guys. Libra, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. May 2020. Libra, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram for additional live weeklies. Links to everything you guys need are right below the video in the description box. The Seven of Swords. Wow. Star, sign of Aquarius. Six of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Five of Wands. It's been out a lot. And I do I do think it's mostly internal struggles. You know, because we can't get out and about. Most of us, the world is crazy. Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Man. Wow. Ten of Swords. Now, we are going to get additional cards, so don't stress yet. Is that the bottom? Well, this is your overall energy. Wow. Death card has been out a lot. Endings, new beginnings, or things transforming drastically. Well, they have been for all of us. But definitely watch your other signs. Virgo, Gemini. You know, but you know, that this is manifesting, making things happen. This is something definitely that you need to know. Because looking at this reading, Libra, you do have some challenges here. Just like the other signs. But, you know, you do have, this is, you know, your overall energy for the whole month. You know, you have the power, all the tools you need to make changes with your love life this month. Aquarius, you know, this is what you want. You want your hopes, wishes, dreams, you know, and I'm going to be, really, I, I do feel like you are close to achieving that, you know, receiving something, getting what you deserve. You know, this is a generous energy. You know, getting what you deserve from your partner or spouse. But there, you know, there's definitely something going on here. With the Seven of Swords. Lies, deceit, betrayal. I mean, this definitely could be someone that's not being honest. Like I was saying, Libra, you do have some challenges here. 
you do have two fives, the five of wands, the five of pentacles. This is definitely an obstacle. Deceit, betrayal, you have the ten of swords, the nine of wands in the center of the reading. You're protecting yourself, being on guard. And it is because you just have this challenging energy around you within your relationship. Those of you that are single, coupled, I do see some of you unhappy, sad. With the Five of Pentacles. I mean, this is definitely a sad, lonely, you know, feeling abandoned. Even if you're already coupled, you know, you're feeling disconnected from the person that you're dealing with. You could also be afraid of losing this person, Libra. And, you know, and for some of you, there could be deceit going on. But I do feel like if that's the case, this is something that Libra would already know. You would already be going through this. But somebody's definitely feeling very conflicted about the relationship. It could be someone's holding back from you. You know, pushing you away. It could just be that this person wants to be alone. For those of you that are dealing with that situation... You know, the Five of Wands, too, is internal struggles. Someone struggling with something. You know, someone could be being very on guard, protective of themselves, could be pushing you away. You do have two, you know, two tens right here. And the Death card is under there as well. Like, like you can't make this up. It... it I don't really want to say this. The Ten of Wands, you're feeling exhausted. Fed up, tired, tired of trying. You know, this this Eight of Pentacles, you know, you, you've worked hard. You know, you've tried hard. There's a lot of work, time, effort put into your relationship or marriage. Like, you've done everything you can. You know? And now you're tired. Some of you are definitely feeling like it's time to move on. But someone needs to try with the magician. Because you could definitely manifest and change this situation. I'm going to grab you guys some more cards. And I'm going to put them right here. If you do follow my lives on Facebook or Instagram, the card's got to pop for me. So focusing on the top row. Jumper. Wow, this flipped right up. Six of Cups. Could be someone from your past. Fool. Aries. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a Leo or an Aries. You definitely need to be patient, though. You know, try not to get frustrated, you know, or depressed. You know, stay optimistic. You know, with the Strength card, you have to be confident. You know, have the strength to move forward. You know, with the Fool card, and you also get the wheel with this. 
you know, the time for you could be coming up actually in Aquarius season if you're not dealing with an Aquarius. That could be a time frame for some of you. Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo. That's it. With the full, you do absolutely have a new beginning. Those of you that have been thinking about moving forward, before that could be initiated, How do I want to say this? Okay. Those of you that have been thinking about moving forward, it really could be an indication that you should. Those of you that are thinking that you don't want to give up on this person, then you shouldn't. This could be with someone from the past. But there's definitely new beginnings here around someone from the past for some of you. Those of you that are still married, coupled, you know, the Six of Cups is always a soulmate energy. With the Strength card, you are definitely being asked to be patient, strong. You know, have the courage to keep hanging on and move forward. I do feel like some of you are hearing from someone from the past. What's at the bottom for shits and giggles? I knew there was a reason I had to do this. Come on, that's insane. This person is your person. And the Six of Cups... Both soulmate cards. What are the chances? Really? That came quick. <laughs> I can't make this up. See, I cannot make this shit up. It, card. Listen. People lie. The cards do not. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is coming back. Without a doubt. And there is a strong emotional connection with this person. Dreaming. Fantasizing about you. There's definitely a new beginning here for you guys. Libra. Really. Absolutely beautiful. If you are not subscribed to my channel. Please be sure to subscribe. I would very much appreciate that. Absolutely love you guys, and I will see you back here soon. Take care.